Hello and thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field. I'm Maria Soreo. Now it's March and I'm in Arizona, so that can only mean one thing. That's right, Dodgers and Angels spring training. Now, these teams have made some big changes in the offseason. The Angels adding infielder Anthony Rendon and the Dodgers adding pitcher David Price and Mookie Betts from those Boston Red Sox. Now, I had a chance to catch up with both managers today, Joe Madden at the Angels, and of course, Dave Roberts here at the Dodgers. So let's find out how their teams are coming along so far this spring. Drew, what's the chemistry been like in the locker room? Um, pretty spectacular, I think. I'm, um, you know, people say, oh, chemistry, and it's, that's, that's ridiculous. What are you talking about? And uh, that's because if you don't know how to create it, then you'll make fun of it. Um, I was very bad in the subject in school, actually, though. I had Valentine Cherlitsky in high school, and I was the worst chemistry student in history. Um, but I think it can be, I think it can be nurtured. Uh, but how do you do that through communication? I think it's also there's a freedom involved where you don't try to control everything that's going on. You permit the guys to be themselves. And of course there's structure, but um, when they know they can be themselves and come out here um, in that manner, then you're gonna get the best version of that player. Um, I had a great conversation on the bench yesterday with um, Knowles. Have you guys talked to Knowles yet? No. You're missing out. Talk to Knowles. Um, this is the kid from the Bahamas. But he is, he's interesting, entertaining, and he's not even 20 years of age. And I love the way he was able to speak with me candidly and not worrying that this is the manager of the team. It was outstanding. And I took that as a great sign. Do you enjoy these, these springs, first springs of the team, and getting to go through those conversations with guys? Oh, yeah, I do. Um, it's, I really enjoy spring training in general. Uh, I love the uh, idea of putting thoughts out there and watching things take shape. Uh, next year we get together, you'll have that, that uh, bedrock down there and you might want to make some adjustments, that's cool. But the first year it's about that and it is building relationships. This group here is, um, God, they're like, they're very wide open. They're very wide open and they're, they, they, they listen very well. Not just to me, I'm talking to the whole coaching staff, I'm watching the interaction. And I'm sure a lot of guys say that in every camp. I'm just telling you, I've done it before. And uh, I really, really um, enjoyed how these guys have embraced all the new stuff that we're talking about. I think uh, it's been a really good camp. I think that obviously you get guys like Jimmy Nelson, um, Jock Peterson, a little kind of nicked up. But for the most part, we've been pretty healthy um, and just kind of getting the, nursing these guys to health and just kind of getting ramped up. Because it's going to get here quick. And I talked to Cody today, Bellinger, and you, know, you look at the calendar and go through a schedule and it's going to be on us quickly. So I think that we're, we're uh, trending in the right direction. I think the next step, you know, is just he set a new benchmark for himself. And it's kind of, that's where there's expectations always from the outside, you know, whether it be from as a team or individually. But I think that there's no more expectation a person puts on himself or a team than themselves. And so I think for Cody, it's kind of, prepare the way he did and, and, you know, and expect the results to be somewhat similar. You know, he, he's an MVP player and, and uh, yeah, I think that he's reached a certain plateau where I think that he was pretty proud of himself and now you got to kind of repeat it. I think the biggest thing for me, and we talked about this last spring before the season, was the way he prepared. I, I just think that going into 19, into that winter, and all spring, everything he did that was more intent, focus intent, and it's like he took that all the way throughout the season, really, and and it paid off. And he and I see that same kind of mindset again. And now it's time to catch up with our Los Angeles Dodgers and find out how spring training 2020 is coming along. We are here with a returning favorite, Alex Wood. Welcome back to the Dodgers. Thank you. Happy to be back. When you go away from a team and you come back, what is it like to come back to a team that you were very comfortable with? It's great. You know, it kind of feels like I never left. You know, i got a lot of close friends in the clubhouse. Uh, it's kind of just feels like I'm picking up where I left off, you know. Uh, it's nice to be back around everybody uh, on a daily basis, you know, putting work in and getting excited for season. Uh, you know, I've loved my time here, and uh, I'm excited to be back. What's it like with new people in the locker room? How long does it kind of take to acclimate to that? 
Uh, you know, I don't think it's bad. You know, there's a, there's some new faces. You know, and obviously being in spring training, when you have 60 some guys uh, from from the start of camp until a few weeks in, you know, you start to uh, meet some new people and, and make some new friends. But you know, it's a, it's still a large large part of the guys in here is the the same core that was here when I when I left. And so you know, it's, it doesn't usually work like that. So to come back with uh, a lot of the same guys that have been here for a while and that I play with for for four years is, is special. So I'm, I'm excited. I think we got a got a good team and uh, it's gonna be a fun season. What's it like to actually go away and come back? What do you think you've learned the most um, from, from the time away? Yeah, you know, you just uh, you, you notice uh, different things. You know, your perspective changes a little bit. You know, I had a tough year injury-wise last year. Uh, you know, it's, it's funny how things work out. You know, last year was so miserable for me uh, being hurt most of the year. and then uh, But now getting to wind up back here and I feel healthy and excited to help this team compete. But, uh, you know, you just... I think me personally, just trying to stay in the moment, be a little bit more present, not be so worried about tomorrow, uh, you know, and just enjoying where I'm at. Uh, you know, I think that's the, the number one thing that I kind of took from last year. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's it's made things uh, made me appreciate things a lot more. And it's been a, been a little bit more fun, too, as well. Well, and, you know, it's interesting. You're going back to a place where you pitched very well. Yeah, no doubt. And so. <laughs> Uh, I, I knew that going into off season. Uh, once I knew there was some serious interest, that this is a place I've had success and I'm comfortable. Uh, you know, and obviously, I, I, I really winning is really important to me. And so, uh, to be able to kind of check all those boxes uh, uh, was pretty cool. We are here with Matt Beatty. Matt, how was your off season? Uh, it was great. Uh, lived out in LA in Pasadena. Um, just wanted to work out at the stadium, be with B Mac, Travis, our strength coaches, and just kind of, you know, work out at the stadium. Can't beat the LA weather. So I'm from Tennessee, so it gets a little bit cold in the off season. And so I just wanted to, you know, be able to be outside, hit be batting practice outside and, and just be with those coaches and, and just enjoy the environment as much as possible. You know, from season to season, what do you work on to get a little better in your own game? Uh, we we kind of pinpoint, me and Travis uh, Smith, our, one of our strength coaches, pinpoint some things, the deficiencies that I had last year. And this year it was just kind of cleaning up my running form and, and uh, trying to be as quick as possible, explosive as possible, just to, you know, help with the uh, flexibility of playing multiple positions. Uh, it really helps in the outfield, too, of when you clean up your running form, the ball's not going to bounce as much when you're running a ball down in the gap. So there are some things that we worked on. It, it's kind of different from year to year. You've got some new faces in this locker room. How long does it kind of take to get to know everybody? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, you, you get to know them for a few days, but, you know, we're in the clubhouse for a, a lot of hours during the day, so you get to know each other pretty well, pretty quick. So, um, you know, the, the guys that we added this year, um, obviously they're really talented ball players, but so far they've been, you know, really great human beings and, and just a great fit in this clubhouse. You know, this year it's going to be a little more exciting because we've got the All-Star game coming to town. Wow. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, that's that's going to be great, um, just to bring an a All-Star game to the city of Los Angeles and then, at the iconic Dodger Stadium. It's going to be a really exciting All-Star game this year. Um, you know, a lot of guys are obviously going to be working hard to try to represent the Dodgers, and uh, it's going to be a great time for the city of L.A. and, and for the Dodgers organization. Back to spring training, has it been going, is, does it go by fast for you or slow? Uh, it's kind of a mix. I mean, uh, sometimes it goes a little slow, um, just because it can kind of be a grind to try to get your timing down and, yeah. and get used to, you know, having uh, spikes on your feet all day long again. But uh, for the most part, it's actually pretty fast. I mean, we're only a couple weeks away from the season. So um, I guess when you look at it like that, it, it goes pretty fast. And one of our Dodger pitchers, Tony Gonsolin, does that name sound familiar to you? Well, if you live in Vacaville, California, it certainly does. Tony Gonsolin graduated from Vacaville High School, and so did I. Let's go back and talk about those Bulldogs. All right, we are here with Tony Gonsolin from the Los Angeles Dodgers. Tell us how your offseason was. Uh, it was good. I was out here in Arizona, so I got the um, luxury of working out here at the complex every day. And, you know, it was awesome working out with the strength coaches and all that stuff. So it feels like just grew together and all that stuff. So it was just really comfortable out here. What kind of things do you tend to work on from season to season, especially being up in the bigs last year, to get a little bit better? Yeah, I know that uh, last year I had a little bit of health health problems, so this year I definitely want to, you know, coming into spring training, trying to get my health back and trying to, you know, come in a little bigger, stronger, faster kind of thing so that I can maintain health all through the year. What do you think you learned um, last year that, that kind of gets you through this year? Um, you know, I think the experience is good, you know. Just any, any kind of experience is a big thing and trying to grow from that. And, uh, you know, I did have a little bit of success last year, and hopefully I can build off of that success and uh, continue it. Got some new names in the locker room. How fast does it kind of take for you sort of acclimate to everybody? Uh, I played, well, maybe not played with, but I knew a lot, a lot of these guys for sure. You know, like there's some new guys like Betts and 
uh, Price and Gratterall and maybe some other guys that I'm missing. I'm sorry, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been awesome getting to know these guys, and uh, they're all very you know open and welcoming, and you know I think we are too as as the Dodgers. So it's it's been pretty nice going through all that. Okay, it's not very often. In fact, never have I met anyone that graduated from Vacaville High School where I graduated from. Uh, what's it like coming from a very small town into the big city? <laughs> uh, you know, it's nice. Um, you know, I got a lot of friends back home and a lot of people rooting for me and a lot of Giants fans back home a that are of Giants fans that, there. <laughs> that are uh, Tony Donaldson fans. So uh, it's been very supportive through all that. And your family's still there, is that right? Yeah, for the most part. Okay, mine is as well. So um, are you were you a Vasquez guy or a Murillo's guy? Um, probably Murillo's for Murillo's, sure. Okay. Yeah. Any other Vacaville places that you frequented? Um, I went to Chevy's a lot before oh, it, before it closed down uh, a couple of years ago, but that place was a big one, and the uh, Shinwa oh, that yeah. just closed down actually this off season, so that was a big heartbreak for me. That was my favorite all-time restaurant that I've ever been to, so it's pretty sad to see it close down. Have you ever heard of Senorita bread? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's kind of a new Vacaville thing that I had never heard of, so we'll have to we'll have to hook you up. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. All right, thanks for spending some time, and we will see you back at the the big stadium very soon. Awesome, thank you. Thanks. Now, of course, all of the players are very busy in training camp, getting ready for the season, but there are some things that go on in spring training that just might surprise you. Let's find out what they are. All right, so I want to go behind the scenes a little bit. For people that don't know, it's interesting in spring training. In addition to your work, um, you guys are looking at bats. You're looking at you have people coming in to make suits for you, sunglasses. Tell us about that. <laughs> Yeah, there's no shortage of vendors. I'll say that. Uh, whatever you need, you can get. So, um, you know, you always, you know, you're always trying something new, or you know, need to, to upgrade your wardrobe, whatever it might be. So, um, it's all here for you. Is that helpful when you have the opportunity to do that now? Well, I'm at, at this point. I I've seen all of them. I know all of them. So. Uh, yeah, I think I'm usually pretty sad. I, you know, I'm, I, I usually try to stay in my in my bubble with with my uh, equipment and things like that. But uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I I'd say uh, I use them when needed. Are you a shopper in the off season? I, you know, I'm a bulk shopper. So like, I won't I won't get anything for pretty much all off season. Then it's like, oh, the season's coming up, and I I just go go nuts. Know, yeah, I go nuts one time, probably one time a year. For people that don't know, we all know you guys are working out out here, but there are some other things that go on I thought were interesting to share with the fans. Um, you've got people showing you bats, sunglasses. There's people getting clothes made. Tell us about that. Yeah, I think every day we have a new uh, new company out here kind of showing us their product, and um, it's really cool to see new, new sunglasses, new bats, new bat grip, gloves, kind of everything. So... Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Is that helpful for you guys to kind of do that now? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's definitely seeing all these new companies and stuff. They all have new products, and uh, they let you try stuff. So it's always it's always cool to yeah. do it during spring, yeah. Yeah. Now, are you somebody who likes to try new stuff, or are you just like, nope, I want my stuff, that's it? Um, <laughs> I am pretty – don't like to change a lot, yeah. but uh, – there, there are things that I've tried that I've, that I've liked, yeah. Well, you never know what's going to happen in spring training, and the players were very surprised when Joe Madden invited one of his friends to come in and have a chat, and that was Charles Barkley. We are here today at Angels Camp with Justin Upton. Justin, how is camp going so far first? Uh, it's going really good. Um, you know, it's a good atmosphere, um, getting our work in, and... Uh, you know, getting acclimated to being being back on the baseball field. Yeah, you have a new manager this year in Joe Madden. What has he been like so far? He seems like a ton of fun. Yeah, he, he is a lot of fun. He, he allows you to to uh, be yourself, get your work in. Um, you know, and and it's it's a it's just a good atmosphere. You know, very lively, keeps it light. He's a big believer in having other people come in to motivate. Charles Barkley was here the other day. What does that do for you guys? Uh, it gives us a different look, different perspective. Um, you know, just to hear different people talk about, um, you know, what's gotten them to, the, to that point in their life or, or their, their success. So, um, you know, it, you know, it may touch one or two guys in the clubhouse, or it may touch a big group, um, depending on, you know, how they see things. Yeah.
Interesting, you know, the rosters change a little bit each year. You've got, you know, Anthony Rendon in here now, and you've got a lot of big bats. How excited are you to get back to uh, Angel Stadium and start hitting them? Um, it's it's going to be fun. Yeah. Um, we got a, we got a lot of guys who've, um, you know, have had a lot of success, um, you know, at the plate. And, I mean, overall on our team, I think we've, you know, we've brought together a pretty good group of guys that, uh, you know, just know how to play the game and, and uh, just do a lot of things well. We are here with David Fletcher. David, you're a few weeks into camp. How's it going so far? It's going great. Um, I mean, I feel like there's a really good energy with this team. Okay. And you've got some new guys in there. How long does it kind of take to acclimate to that? Uh, actually, pretty quick, I think. Uh, I mean, definitely by the first week, we're all kind of feel like a team. So um, I think it, it happens pretty quick. That, yeah, that helps. Now, you've yeah. got a new manager this year in Joe Madden. He really likes to keep things loose. He's a lot of fun. Tell me your perspective on him so far. Um, I think he does a great job letting the players uh, – play their full potential and kind of let you play loose and um, your own style, which is, I think, gets the most out of everybody. You know, we talk about, like, new people coming in. When a manager comes in and it's such a change, how long does it kind of take you to acclimate to him? Or, uh, or is this going to be, like, an all-season thing? <laughs> again, I think pretty quick. Uh, when, you're around, when you're around the team every day and uh, around the new manager every day, it, it happens pretty quick and you start feeling – like the, the normal now. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I know that he's bringing in different people to motivate. Charles Barkley was here the other day. What was that experience like? Yeah, that was really cool getting to meet Charles Barkley. And uh, he had some good wisdom for us and uh, definitely put things in perspective on the game. Is, is that helpful when you have somebody else coming in to give you sort of a different perspective? Yeah, it's always, I mean, especially when it's like a future Hall of Famer uh, in any sport. It, yeah. It's uh it's always, it's always really cool. How is your golf swing? My golf swing's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I saw him out there kind of working with some of you guys. And yeah, he his golf swing's a lot better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> well, he has a lot more time now, I think, to, to make that better, yeah. too. All right, Keenan, we are here in spring training. How's it going so far? It's going really good, yeah. Enjoying the weather. Uh, enjoying my new teammates and getting getting to know all the new faces. You know, I wanted to ask you about that. How long does it kind of acclimate to having new guys in the locker room? Um, pretty quick around here. I mean, like, everybody's pretty, uh, pretty, like, I don't know. Everybody just likes to have a lot of fun around here. Yeah. So it's not hard to fit in, and it's not hard to just have, have that happen very quick. I noticed that you also have um, a new manager this year. What is Joe Madden like? Uh, he's really laid back. Yeah, he's, I like him a lot. Like, he's my kind of guy, for sure. Um, not too many rules. Just be a professional, do your stuff, and take care of, your, and take care of yourself. He also, I, we're noticing bringing in uh, different kinds of guys to motivate you. Charles Barkley was yeah. here the other day. Yeah. What was that like? I mean, that was crazy. Like, somebody told me he was in the hall, and I was like, there you, you stop playing with me. And then I walked out there, and I was, that was the most starstruck I've ever been. I told everybody that already. That was crazy. That was cool. It was fun. It was, it was super cool that he likes to have fun like that. I, I was going to ask you that. Do you feel that that kind of helps out for you guys when you get to kind of meet guys like that? And for sure, yeah. And then like have see him go out there with his terrible golf swing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just, it's not that. Big. It's better than mine. I can't really talk. But um, and he's yeah. got a lot more time yeah, on his like, hands, huh? Oh yeah, now he does. Yeah, he's definitely been working on that golf swing. But like that, that made it fun too. And just have our guys, to see our guys out there with him, just kind of competing like just it's, it was cool it seems like joe's gonna have a lot more surprises right. for you guys for sure yeah i bet he does yeah i bet she has a whole bunch of more surprises for us this season i am working on a very special project with the american heart association called keep the beat challenge now i'm going to tell you about the challenge in just a minute but there's some facts you need to know every 38 seconds somebody dies from a heart related ailment so we want to really make a difference in 2020 and there's a couple ways that you can do that First of all, of course, we want you to donate, and it's as easy as picking up your phone and sending a text to 41444, keep the beat. That's all you have to do. Now, if you want to take part in the challenge, we want you to put a very short video together. You can sing, you can dance, whatever you want to keep the beat. Now, I'm going to challenge Dodger pitcher Ross Stripling, so let's see what Ross does to keep the beat. Ross, how is spring training going for you? 
It's going really well. You know, I can't believe we're, I think, more than halfway done now. Yes. We leave for the freeway series in two weeks or so, you know, so it's just flying by as it always does. But everything feels good physically. Uh, for the most part, the team's been healthy and, and they're looking great. So I know we're ready to get these last two weeks over with and start playing games that matter. There's always new guys in the locker room. This year you've got a couple of new guys. What has that been like and how long does it take to really get to know them? Right. Spring training's tough because everyone's on different schedules, you know, and, um, but f from what I've talked to Mookie and, and David Price, I mean, they're both just awesome guys, awesome additions to the locker room. They're going to be good leaders, world champions, MVPs, Cy Young. So, I mean, you can't ask for better locker room guys as far as resume. And then as far as people, they're great too. Um, you know, after two or three weeks, I definitely don't know them as well as I want to, but I got a full season ahead yes. where I'll get to watch them play and get to know them and, and hopefully become good buddies with them. But so far, uh, everyone's loving them. This, really, this whole sport is such a brotherhood talk about that it is you know a lot of people call it a fraternity and, yeah. and it's funny how we can all be even on other teams you know I watch like Kershaw and Gum Bumgarner talk in the outfield and then right. when it's between the lines it's like game on you know so it's very much uh, a brotherhood and we all support each other but when we're on the field playing each other it gets intense and um, you know but at the end of the day we all support each other and have each other's backs and um, you know it's 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 awesome to be a part of I mean heck at a given time there's only 750 of us right. you know and, and on major league rosters well I guess now one more on each yeah. team so it's a small group and a small knit group and guys really support each other lastly something very exciting at Dodger Stadium this year the all-star game is coming talk about that how cool is that okay, you know right? first time in 40 years I yeah. believe you know and we're getting the renovations uh, it looks like they're working day and night to get yeah. that over with so we're excited to see it um, you know but to have an all-star game in LA just feels right it's going to be really cool. Uh, the weather's going to be beautiful, and, and there's going to be people there, uh, you know, and it'll be really fun to see. Hopefully, I'm sure we'll have many guys okay, make that team. Of course. You know, definitely a couple in the home run derby. We'll have a couple. Yes. Maybe, yeah, we'll, we'll fill half the home run derby squad, but it'll be a lot of fun. Well, yeah, everybody has to go because you're sort of like the official ambassadors from, for L.A., Right, yeah, <laughs> definitely. You know, so we gotta we gotta show out. We gotta get you know eight or ten guys on that team if we can. And uh, man, that that'll be a lot of fun. I know a lot of guys are looking forward to that. Obviously, a lot of baseball before then, For but sure. uh, that'll yes. be really cool. Very cool. All right, so then we will go into the American Heart Association. All right, are we good? Okay, we are here with Dodger pitcher Ross Stripling. Ross, we are supporting the American Heart Association this year. They are doing a campaign called Keep the beat and keep the beat means keep your heart healthy um, every 38 seconds somebody dies from a heart related ailment so it's 2020 we want to change that so you as an athlete what do you do to stay heart healthy well for one that's an awesome cause I like that keep the beat that's really cool you know what we do obviously a, a lot of physical exercise you know is, is how we stay healthy and then nutrition is a big thing for us um, you know vitamins vegetables get uh, everything that you can in your body that um, is is to support it you know no you can have a cheat day and that kind of stuff but for for, for us and to keep keep the beat and just keep our hearts healthy it's about uh, vitamins nutrition physical exercise an hour a day you know go outside go for a walk um you know get on the treadmill whatever it is that you do but that would be my advice for uh, keeping the beat okay and then one of the things that we're doing along with this is for you to challenge a teammate to keep the beat who who will you challenge that is a good question putting me on the spot yeah you know who i'll, ch I'll, cl I'll challenge K clayton kershaw Ooh, yeah i want clayton i want kershaw. clayton kershaw to keep the beat and you know we know that he loves playing ping pong in here that's a good one if he's going to keep the beat on anything it's probably ping pong we got some good challengers this year uh Bruce Star Gratterall and Mookie Betts are two really good ping pong players. So for the first time, Kershaw's got his hands full. All right, and remember, you can donate to the American Heart Association. It's as easy as sending a text message to 41444. Keep the beat. Thank you, Ross Stripling, and thank you for the heart healthy tips. Thank you so much. And that will do it for today's show. Remember, you can watch Playing the Field 24 7 at playingthefieldtv.com. I'd love to stay longer, but I think there's a baseball game about to start, so I better go. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time.